Hello Virgo, welcome to your reading for the week of 13th until the 20th of May. We're going to look into your messages and at the end we look into the summary for the week and uh, anything that comes up. Virgo, hmm. I see some cards flying out here. Uh, Page of Pentacles, Three of Wands. So this is progress. You may be receiving some news of money or information about some money. Uh, the page of pentacles will also be uh, someone who is bringing in some news to you or an offer. Two of swords. Eight of cups. Ace of pentacles. Queen of cups. Okay, at the bottom of the deck we have king of cups. Okay, so two of swords is uh, like indecision. At the crossroads uh, I also see the two of swords like a protective energy now there's also that new moon energy around with uh, it could be connected to the new moon in Taurus that may put this person in like not knowing which way to go this could be to do with options like which way now, I feel like the Two of Swords also comes when the Divine is saying there's always another way. It doesn't have to be these two ways. Like approaching something. And it feels like you are walking away from something here. We'll get more about this. And the Ace of Pentacles is a new nest. Queen of Cups is looking down into her cup, into his cup. Uh, this is all about that self-care, the feminine and grounding so i'm i feel like there's someone that may be walking away from something and they're trying to come in here now whoever this is uh, they're in a place of indecision or not knowing which way to go but whatever this is they're making a decision to leave something to start afresh or to have something that feels solid now if this was you Virgo for example it may be that you find yourself in this place which option to take A or B and then all of a sudden you see something like option Z and you, oh you know there is more out there and then you walk away from that or something that was keeping you in this place feeling stuck and that Z is definitely the solid one okay the one that actually works the queen of cups could be i feel like this could be a person doing this like they're seeing they're trying to come back to something it's an energy of wanting to come back in you this person may see you as this queen of cups like caring nature or motherly nature like they want to come back to you so it could examples could go from someone going out to work to school you know just going out there in the world and wanting to come back home and that home is you uh the other example could be someone that actually walked away in the past and now they're trying to come back in the bottom line is coming back in whether it's it could be even to yourself Two of Swords, Five Swords, so Five plus Two is Seven Swords, Eight of Cups with the World, Page of Pentacles is still here with Ace of Pentacles, and Queen of Cups is clarified by Ten of Pentacles, you are showing up strongly here, and the Page of Wands could be a kind of message, or a messenger you could be this messenger as well uh the seven of swords look at that five plus two seven swords so this uh, situation has sabotaged you a lot or has tried to put you in that mental space with these two cards coming on the spread or in the spread and then seven of swords being here these are two different situations it's like one side is showing you and how this has affected you and the other side is showing a, a kind of coming back 
I don't know if I mentioned Page of Swords is also like a twin flame or even a young person. The Page of Wands is like a young person spiritually, emotionally, or sometimes sometimes uh, age, but it has to do with that fiery nature, like excitable, a lot of ex excitability in here excitability not being good or bad positive or negative but it's like the it feels like a flutter in the stomach that kind of connection could also be someone in your energy going through this or having this eight of cups and the world four of wands It's like a coming back here someone could be coming back or someone has come back so this could be an ancestor figure that is coming back in now if this is an ancestor figure Virgo this could be related to a young person around you where they've come back is an ancestor that has come back in them you may have heard messages about this before but this person is actually having awakenings. It may be a young person having their own awakenings. They're actually going through stuff that you are going through as well. Again, you can apply this to your own self where you are the one going through something like your inner child, that uh, reintegration. But you have someone who brings messages to you. <laughs> Look at that. They they bring messages to you. You have a messenger around you, Virgo. Whether inside or close to you. I picked a bit of throat chakra energy, but very tiny. So this person may still be having a process of their throat chakra clearing. This may be you as well. Now, with the throat chakra clearing, that means there were situations in the past that definitely uh, you didn't feel safe to express yourself. And you've been in that process of like uh, clearing, decluttering. And this season, Taurus season, is significant for this process. Now, whoever wants to come back in on the outside, it feels like they are about to meet they're still meeting the queen of cups but it feels like this queen of cups is not alone this is also your card so this queen of cups is not alone they're surrounded by their ancestors Virgo you could be trying to do something and the divine just doesn't allow you because the, your ancestors are like you're not in this alone not anymore so we get to have a say if we live with you. So it's a kind of a teamwork. Like anything that disrupts your balance right now, the, the guides are like, mm -mm. you could be talking to someone on the phone and the line cuts or yeah, something just happens and you, you trust it. Because your guides are all about your balance right now. Ace of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles. What is this? The Fool, Uranus. So you could be taking a leap of faith towards something or this is someone who actually wants to do this. You see with the Page of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles. And the thing is the Ace of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles, they feel like two different energies. One is coming. It's not so solid. Ace of Pentacles feels solid. So I feel like you may find yourself having two options this week regarding something. Two options are coming your way. Whether to go with something that feels solid and you may not see it in the physical or something that feels like an immediate outcome. Which one to take? The fool is like you are taking a leap of faith towards something. With the fool facing that way, that direction, I always see it as like, yeah, the leap of faith is there. 
but then you're not doing it alone you have your guides working with you so whatever you're taking like the next step it's a significant one for this to come out but you are choosing something here queen of cups and ten of pentacles five of pentacles You're moving away from something that caused you to be in scarcity, to be in lack. Or this person is. I, I feel there could be someone in your energy that is going through this as well with you. Um, so it's like you're having to be there for someone here. As well as being there for yourself. Or it could just be you. But with the five ten pentacles, it's showing you what it's showing you what one path can do for you. It, like it's going to bring you back. And how the five of pentacles plays out in the physical? Hmm, let me see. Someone offers you something like, uh, "Let's go out for lunch," and deep down, they know that this is how they can get you. Okay, get your attention. Now, with all the healing that you've done, you're having to sit to think, is it worth my... Is this... Not is it worth it, but is this going to destabilize me? Is this going to take out of my balance? Because we're talking about karmic justice here, like the scales being balanced. So whatever this is, is trying to trick you into doing something that will take out of your balance while going out to eat with this person maybe something that you was an exchange before or a, or a transaction now you're having to question or to sit with yourself to see you are looking at the long run and the immediate pleasure that this came with before so it's like you're having to choose something that may not look you may actually not beat up yourself, but you, you may feel a bit down at that point, but you know that that is the right decision that you've made. Now, that was just an example that I brought up, but it has to do with a transaction. It has to do with a, what a scarcity mindset can look like. So I, I feel like whatever this is, they they knew how to get from you. And you may have operated in that state before with them, but you're having to choose a different path right now but i'm also getting that your guides are with you on this all right with the 10 plus 5 that is a 15 so yeah this is definitely a kind of a relationship that could have been toxic any kind of relationship this could be a friend hmm. I mean, i'm not getting so much of family but it could be family as well will be an ex-partner could be something happening or maybe your neighborhood but this came with a different kind of exchange before and you're having to move differently right now now with one plus five is 15 adding up to six sorry um that is you moving in your balance it feels like you're moving in your balance The hanged man, a shift, 180 degree shift, a oh, wall. So this is like you're lightening something. Now with this process, it's like I don't see the death energy or like the death card, death and rebirth. But I feel like this is connected to the heart chakra. Just by making this decision or even several decisions with the these two cards. What you're doing is you are lightening something for yourself. You're going to feel a lot lighter, Virgo. I, I feel like I immediately you may not, well, it may not feel like it. May. <laughs> this may just be you knowing, like, pfft. that's why I keep saying, I, I say may. It may not feel easy at the beginning, but you're going to feel much lighter here regarding 
your decision is going to expand you and this is opening the way to this portal here so this portal could be a, a door now the reason this portal is coming up portal in the energetic level meaning like a timeline if this for example is a twin flame connection or is something that this person is for you like it's an alignment with your with your purpose like everything to do with your purpose in this portal you're going to meet everyone like you so it could be someone you know it could also be your soul tribe so at that door you're meeting people like you so as they are working energetically you also are and you're meeting so there's someone for some of you or for someone here there's someone in your energy this could be a young person who where you may actually feel like there are some there's a rough road every now and then but then you keep realigning so this is also someone who is part of your soul tribe wow Virgo. this is a big energy because it covers a lot of our dimensions and talk about dimensions and we have the hanged man the hanged man could also be pisces okay you could have with the pisces um sorry with the hanged man and queen of cups there could be a pisces here as well It feels again that whatever decision you're making, this, all of these energies don't have to happen during this week because they flow. Uh, but I feel like this is more of a subject topic. Whatever decision you're making here to move, this choice is going to keep someone perplexed. Like they're going to be seeing you differently, even if they don't show it immediately. I think like it's already happening. Where this person is having to see you differently, like uh, you're moving different right now. You're operating different. Now, and they don't like it because they feel stuck. Six of Cups and the Star. So there could be a past life connection here coming for you or... You, you are realigning dead death card is here and then judgment so pluto retrograde is bringing to light something for someone as well could be someone on the outside could be a group of people but they're getting to see something from a different light some are actually just seeing it from a different light like things are changing some are having to deal with it whether they're having to deal with themselves or just deal with what is around them, but they're waking up. That is it. That is the key one. Key word. Awakening. What message do you have for Virgo for this week? I feel like the messages have come out straightforward. Page of Cups. So someone could be trying to bring you back in here. Now, whatever decision you're making, it feels like you are moving in your balance, okay? Uh, that is what matters. With the Page of Cups and the Fool, this could be regarding work for someone. Yeah, there could be some work situation here as well. Could be your own business. Could be a workplace with the Four of Wands. And if, wow, I'm getting that if it's a workplace or something that has to do with work, then this page of wands could be someone who carries, um, like, gossip. Who gossips a lot. They go spreading news about people. So they carry something from one uh, person, take it to another. They keep recycling stories. And people are getting to see them for just who they are. But then not everyone is awake to see them. I feel like this is definitely more about you than other people. Or if this is not a workplace, this is someone that you may have worked with in some way. Or you may have wanted to work with them, collaborate, but they cost, there was a lot of clash here. Queen of Pentacles. 
you're showing up here and then I see Queen of Pentacles and Eight of Wands so this is like some fast movement um, with the number eight and then eight of cups I feel like you're moving towards something this is to do with passion to do with um, values yeah okay happiness i am aware that being happy means that i am on the right path yes yeah, so, and this is coming in the inverted position whatever this is is you are it feels like you're moving away from it death i am learning that endings are merely beginnings purpose i know what i'm here to do pretty much summarizes the whole reading health i will honor the physical vessels that f vessel that enshrines my soul um if we go back to the pentacles it also has to do with health and well-being and your virgo so yeah that is strongly connected to virgo energy health and well-being mother earth this could even be a mother figure for someone or you could be this mother figure um happiness i feel like okay let's read a bit of happiness happiness is 13 and then death so it's like you're choosing what gives you joy before incarnating your soul created a blueprint for you to follow in this physical dimension the easiest way to chart this path is to follow your bliss life is full of choices and opportunities spirit in its infinite wisdom has given you the emotion of happiness to guide you the signposts are always there but you have to acknowledge them and have the courage to follow them as you hold this card do you feel that you are living a life of happiness in what areas is it lacking it may be time to be truthful with your soul self i feel like this is what is happening uh, this week it's talking to that moment listen to its language and intuit if there is someone or a scenario holding you back from experiencing complete happiness even though it may be painful to admit you need to be completely tr truthful be mindful of how happiness will affect every aspect of your life on your path also intuit if there is someone else in your life who needs to be brought into the awareness of happiness this is important to recognize as well others will others will want to learn from you and whether you admit it or not you can be their teacher when you are filled with love and compassion not only do you bring happiness into your life but you lead others by example be the light Virgo, I can also picture you uh, speaking this to someone else. This could be you talking to someone else, saying this to them. Yeah, death is about uh, relationships. The transformations that are happening at this time. And aligning more with purpose. Air guardian, shift your perception. Mountain, stand your ground. The air guardian, this perception with the hanged man is what is happening. It's like that uh, change in direction, the wind of change that is coming in, or that is here already. And the mountains with air guardian is uh, this is Queen of Pentacles that came earlier, the grounding, and then rebalancing and realignment so it's like you're not only contending with the forces of nature here okay not contending but you're not only adapting to that you're also learning to adapt with people people trying to come back into your space people trying to or people around you So you're also helping them. Yeah, that message came out earlier as well. So mountain stand your ground is sometimes dealing with people, 
through your shadow side like allowing your shadow to show up for you it's not about like reactivity but it's like stamping your your feet on the ground and saying this is it okay not controlling but also making sure that whatever it is that affects your balance you you address it warrior symbol is mountains number four hold firm to what you believe in or are focusing on because it is absolutely right know that heaven and earth are supporting you Mountain energy is powerful because it's firmly rooted in the Great Mother and reaches high to the Great Father. If you are feeling challenged or pressured at this time, know that your spirit is more powerful than you think. You are resilient and grounded and the energy and air of the mountains is giving you the unshakable strength to be who you are. Take time to root yourself deeply in the energy of the earth before welcoming in the energies of heaven. If you are not sure what to do next, the mountain card invites you to stay exactly where you are. Talk things over with those around you and know that change will come to you. You will be whole and well at the end of this current situation and it will, and it will not stand in the way of your future growth and expansion. This is also talking to this moment. Um, to summarize this reading, Virgo, it's going to be... Uh, you're going to have to make a choice about something or it could be someone in your energy who is needing to make a choice. They may be... <sighs> this choice will require them to take a stand like where does your alliance go whether it's with yourself or is someone you're speaking to about this this is about teamwork i'm getting teamwork here purpose i'm getting learning to let go and release something that is no longer working or something that could keep one in a toxic place stagnant feeling like like feeling not enough it may be a conversation that you're having here, okay, with someone. Um, it may also be you just choosing a path, but it feels like whatever path you're choosing, it feels more solid. The divine is handing you or, yeah, the divine is handing you a solid new offer. This could be in the form of energy where you just feel much lighter. And then in the process, you're releasing something. It's comes naturally with releasing something it could be an energy it could be a person but it's like you're releasing something one more time on your side and another person's side i'm not getting so much of like um yeah i feel like there's something happening but whatever this is you it did sabotage or cost this person or you and or you uh, a lot of conflict in the mind space and you've been doing your own healing and this is happening to strengthen your connection with your guides and put you in that abundance uh, in the state of abundance and flow all right Virgo I'm gonna stop here for now and I'll see you with more videos do take care and I wish you a lovely week ahead bye bye